So this is a loading technique to the inner part of your thigh, so right about the groin area to right about the knee area. So you can use a ball, which for starters I probably wouldn't suggest, or you can use a foam roller or something equivalent. I'm going to show you using a foam roller. Now there's different ways that you can do this. You can do it side lying or you can do it lying face down like a Spider-Man or Spider-Woman. So I'm going to demonstrate more like a Spider-Man, Spider-Woman. So you're going to orient the foam roller so it's perpendicular with the thigh just like so. So I'm going to place it down and then I'm going to go right on top of the roller just like so. And I'm going to be in this position and then what I'm going to do is just try to sink my groin towards the floor. So I'm going to rotate my pelvis just like this so I'm in this position. From there I'm going to roll towards my groin until I feel a sensitive area. I'm going to hold that position. Now there's two different ways that I can do this. I can do a pin and stretch or I can do a seek and destroy. First one I'm going to show you is the seek and destroy. So I found that area, I'm going to pin it down just like that. And then now I can just add a little bit more weight by leaning my weight into it and holding that position until it kind of melts. Um, the second one I'm going to do is a pin and stretch. So once that melts then I can find another spot, boom, right there. And then now I'm doing the pin and stretch. So I'm going to pin the, the tissue down and then I'm going to straighten out my knee. And then I'm going to bend it and then try to straighten it out again. Just adding a little bit of a load or variation to the tissue until it kind of mellows out or desensitizes. I can keep my knee straight and then I can turn my foot in just like so. So it's taking my whole thigh and rotating it inward or I can place my heel down and rotate my foot up. So now it's twisting my thigh going outward. So going back and forth, pinning it down and stretching it out that direction. The other option that I can do is I can actually turn my pelvis the opposite direction. So if I keep this anchor down right here and then it's a small micro motion, but I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to rotate my pelvis the opposite direction. So I'm trying to face my groin towards that direction or first drive it down towards the floor and then try to scrape my groin against the, the floor, trying to rotate it this direction. And I feel an increased load into that tissue and holding it there until it kind of melts out. The other position of how to do this is doing it side lying. So I'm going to take the roller, again I'm going to keep it perpendicular with my thigh and then I'm just going to place it on top of my other leg. So I'm stacking my legs on top of each other with the roller in between. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift my pelvis forward and shift my pelvis back. As you can tell, it's rolling that roller back and forth until I find the target tissue and I'm just going to hold that there. Once I hold that there, what I can do is I can actually swivel my leg up just like this, doing the pin and stretch technique, just like that. Or if it increases and I feel it right there, then I can straighten out my leg from that position. So straightening it out and bending it, just like so. If I want a little bit more, I can point my foot, seeing if it adds a little bit more of a load or more sensitivity into the target tissue and holding it right in through there. To do the seek and destroy, what I'll just do is I'm going to find the tissue, so I'm going to move it just a little bit, shifting back and forth, and I actually feel more pressure on this down leg, so I'm just going to hold that right there. I can take my hand, add a little bit more pressure, just like so, until I feel that target tissue kind of melt away.